everyone, it's Ickle Nelly Rose here. This video is a little bit different. It might sound a bit echoey because I'm in a hotel room in California. I am at VidCon. I've got my little creator badge there. And I've just had like first day at VidCon. It's my first ever VidCon and it's been lovely. And I've bumped into so many people that I've kind of known online for ages. And finally I've put like faces, 3D faces to 2D pictures of their faces. And it's been really lovely. And I'm staying with lovely Echo, who is sitting over there. <laughs> and uh, I will put a link to her channel and get her, she'll be in vlogs and stuff soon. And we want to do a collab, because that's what you do at VidCon. <laughs> but I just wanted to make a quick video, because uh, she just basically had to listen to me going, Ugh, as we were walking back from the convention center, because it looks like the UK is leaving the EU. If any of you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I have been very vocal in, like, especially the last few days, in my support of remaining in the EU. I think it is a wonderful thing. It's got problems, definitely, but you can't change those things if you just leave. Like, you can't make any difference if you just go. And there's all these talk of, like, bureaucracy and, yeah, like, there are lots of levels to things, like, we vote in a certain level, who votes in another level, and it's, uh, it can be a little bit mind-blowing and you feel like you don't have that control but you don't have any control if you leave. Us leaving the EU doesn't give us any more control really like if you kind of look at all the facts all that 350 million is rubbish that's been painted on the side of a bus it's rubbish we won't gain any more control over our borders and if we want to trade with the EU which is the biggest thing we still have to comply by all their laws by all their you know work agreements so allowing people to come and work here so that we can like trade with them there's a whole load of people from the UK who live within the EU who will have to like work out what they gotta do lots of my friends from uni went to study abroad in the EU and that's not gonna be as easy anymore I've got lots of friends from the EU that I met at uni and they're not it's not gonna be easy for them to come and study in the UK Basically, like, I, I, you know, I'm going into it a little bit, but I don't want to go fully into the ins and outs of why I think leaving the EU is a really, really bad idea. And more just say that I am kind of like, it wasn't just a kind of annoyance at the fact that, oh, we're better in the EU. It's also a little, little bit heartbroken. Um, because it's that sense of unity, that sense of, you know, not just being our own little island separate from everything else, feeling like you belong to a wider community. Like, I get it a lot through YouTube, and I know that there are a lot of European people watching my videos, and some people are a bit kind of like, oh, doesn't the UK like us uh, anymore? Um, I just want to say the vote was pretty close, <laughs> like, ridiculously close and there are lots of people in the UK that love you um, and don't want you to go. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a multiple thing for me. It's a kind of logically it doesn't work for me and emotionally it doesn't work for me, us leaving. It's a bad idea. I've had a very, very nice echo, my very nice American friend being very consoling and understanding <laughs> at this British person being like, eh, uh, as we've been walking along. But yeah, I'm actually like having to hold stuff back right now. A girl from London who is in California right now feeling weird about going back home. This weird. Anyway, I don't, I'm gonna leave it at that. I just wanna say, Europe, just know that there are lots of us who love you and who wanted to remain part of the EU and have that connection with you rather than cut ourselves off and think only of ourselves and not of the greater good of Europe as a whole. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. 